Welcome guys to a quick review of Android 6 Marshmallow running on a Sony Xperia Z3. Now as you guys might have noticed from my previous video I updated this phone just about 24 hours ago and so far uh, my experience with the Android 6 update on the Z3 has been positive. Uh, there are no lags, no bugs and the battery life is also great. So let me just show you the model number. Uh, D6653 and the Android version is 6.0.1 this is the official Android update from Sony anyways let's quit that so yeah guys like I, uh, like I was saying uh, there is no heating issues there are no lags and there are no bugs everything is butter smooth and actually I feel that the battery life is slightly better than uh, what it was on Android Lollipop let me show you my battery usage and yeah I have been using this phone quite extensively uh, I have clocked around 2 hours 37 minutes of screen backlight time uh, I have been using the 4G and 3G during the day on Android Lollipop I would be around say 60% during the night with similar sort of usage so more or less the same battery life but I feel it's slightly better on Android Marshmallow so that is good guys uh, you can even see the consumed battery amps okay so here I have the Sony Xperia Z3 compact running Android Lollipop and here is the Sony Xperia Z3 running Marshmallow so let's take a look at the home screen of the Marshmallow operating system uh, you can see there are subtle differences like transitions you can see this is slightly bit more 3D-ish so to say and take a look at this you can even see that the live wallpaper is slightly different and this is the default Sony uh, live wallpaper by the way it's a little bit different this one is more up to date with the Sony Xperia Z5 series but anyway let's take a look at the app drawer again a little bit different from Android Lollipop on Lollipop we used to slide from left to right to reveal the settings on here we have the settings right over here at the top you have different home screen settings you have double tap to sleep you can change the transition styles so let's try the windmill effect looks really nice you can access the settings from here also yeah I think I prefer the windmill style and yes all of the themes have been updated with the latest UI of Sony Xperia so for example I if I select the red theme and also I should select the red theme on the compact version you can see the live wallpaper is indeed slightly different alright guys so let's take a look at the camera app and see what changes Sony has done in Android 6 so number one change is that you can now launch the camera app from your power button so when your phone is asleep all you gotta do is double tap the power button and the camera will launch let me show it to you that's it now if you guys can see the UI of the camera has been reworked uh, if you compare it to Android Lollipop it used to look somewhat like this so if you gotta change the scene modes you gotta tap this and you can change from manual to superior auto but on Android 6 Lollipop it has moved onto your left hand side or the top of the phone so to change uh, from superior auto to manual just do this 
or if you want to record a video or select the different camera apps and yes 4k recording is still there oops sorry about that and your camera settings you can change the resolution and yeah on superior auto you can't increase the resolution from 8 megapixels to 20 megapixels if you want to do that use the manual mode and you get the option of increasing the resolution up to 20.7 megapixels which is the default sensor resolution on the Z3 you get HDR you get different ISO settings touch focus, face detection, object tracking smile shutter you get the metering mode I prefer the multi metering mode you also get touch block if you want to record on in wet conditions like as if, if it's raining or something you can use the hardware button to do that that was also there on uh, Android Lollipop white balance settings I prefer it to leave it on auto white balance your different scene modes yeah it's a little bit different from what it was on Android Lollipop let's turn the flash on and click a picture the quality is still the same like it was on Android Lollipop and yes guys I do miss this little widget which used to come with the lollipop operating system so unfortunately this widget is not there on Android 6 so I had to add these icons manually from here yeah not really an issue but yeah it's something that I miss compared to the older version of Android not sure why Sony decided to remove that but anyway the phone performance is pretty good another new feature of Android Marshmallow is that you get to set the app permissions manually so to do that head over to settings uh, go to apps tap on this little gear icon and tap on app permissions so say you don't want Instagram to access your camera so tap on camera and scroll down to Instagram so before I disable this let me just demonstrate to you that the camera is working on Instagram I can take a picture so let's disable the camera access for Instagram so once the access to camera has been disabled Instagram will not be able to access your camera you can see it here so Android is now asking whether to allow or deny Instagram access to camera so if I tap on deny uh, it will not be able to access the camera as you can see here so to turn it on just tap allow and it will work again the same goes for other applications you can enable or disable say you don't want uh, certain applications to access your contacts you can disable them individually over here so yeah this is a pretty cool feature I like it so you don't want certain app to access your messaging so you can just disable that from here so likewise quick demonstration of double tap to sleep and double tap to wake so to make the phone go to sleep that's it and if you want to wake it up there you go and if you want to search any application just swipe your finger from top to bottom and it will open the search bar automatically Instagram yeah it's very useful uh, if you have a lot of applications on your phone 
and yeah guys other stuff is more or less similar to what it was on android uh, lollipop specifically the album application music application and the video application they are very similar to actually they are the exact same applications that that the android 5.1.1 runs um, web browsing is smooth no problems at all here Google Chrome is an excellent web browser. Anyway, this works fine, no problems. I have not had any issues with the multitasking on this phone. yeah it's working actually funny thing is powerpoint works better on uh, the microsoft powerpoint works better on this phone other, other than rather than the windows phone which i have so yeah guys everything is working fine answering machine multitasking and another thing I'd like to point out that the stamina mode has been removed from Android 6 so not sure why Sony decided to do that maybe some incompatibilities or uh, I think the Android 6 operating system comes with better battery management than Android Lollipop maybe that's why battery saver, the inbuilt battery saver which is turned off at the moment the battery optimization, I haven't tried this as of now because I just used to use the stamina mode on my Xperia but anyways uh, right now we have clocked about 3 hours and 39 minutes and I'm still around 59% of battery left so yeah, the battery backup is pretty good of Android Lollipop. Sorry, Android Marshmallow. Check the memory usage. Yeah, the memory usage will not be that much free because I've got lots of music and applications in the, on the internal memory itself. So around 10 gigabytes is already used out of 16. You can also mount the SD card as internal memory, but you'll need to insert an empty SD card to do that. Other than that, everything is more or less same like it was on Android Lollipop. So, guys, if I missed anything, I'm sorry. Uh, please do uh, leave a comment if you want to ask anything about this operating system or about this phone itself. So thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. See you all later.